<laughs> I'm in Berlin at staying at Stella's. She has such a beautiful room and she just made the best iced latte for us. Like with the we're back together. <laughs> there was Good morning. We just got ready and now we're going to get some breakfast at a very cute cafe. I've been wanting to go there for a long time. It's called Sophie. And afterwards I'm meeting with my agency and going to a very exciting fitting. That's the plan. I'm wearing this cute dress. It's from Pull&Bear. Waiting for Stella, and then we're going to go. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. We've got juices, a cheese bun, and bread with German butter. Afterwards, we're going to visit some vintage stores in Blackbird, which apparently is good. I've been there before, but I didn't yeah. find anything. But in this area, we are in Neukölln, right? Yes, or currently we're in Kreuzberg, but then yeah. Yeah, that's more like Neukölln. Yeah, and then we're, we we'll go to St. Blackbird. There are several vintage stores and also a restaurant we've both been meaning to try. It's called Kippendi, and apparently it's very good. So maybe we'll have to go there. Yes. Drama, but we wanted to go out. Look at the weather, guys. Okay, it's pouring rain, rain. I think, but it's pouring. Something in the air. We just made breakfast. Actually, Stella made breakfast. <laughs> Eggs and German bread, which is our favorite. Hello, it's my third day in Berlin. Today the sun came out a little bit. I hope it is a little bit warmer because the past days have been very rainy and cold, but it wasn't that bad because it made my whole stay here a little bit cozier. I'm staying with my friend Stella. You can see her in the background. You already know her from my birthday vlog. And she just recently moved to Berlin. And yeah, it was, it was just nice to see her and spend time with her. A lot of my friends actually moved from Munich to Berlin. It's very common because there's a much bigger creative scene and more opportunities if you want to do something in a creative field, I think. Field, I think. So a lot of people move here. And yeah, it has just been nice to be back because the last time I've been here is, I don't even remember. I think it was last year. I've I wasn't in Berlin for over a year, I think. No, I was here in winter, in December. That's the last time I visited Berlin. So it's nice to be back because summer in Berlin is very nice. And there are like a lot of cool cafes and shops and it's a lot of things. But as I told you, a lot of my friends moved here and some of them already lived here for over four years and we they're still like one of my best friends. And long distance friendship can suck, but you can really make it work if you put a little bit of effort in it. And yeah, so I'm not too scared when all of my friends are moving, but it still sucks because there aren't a lot of people left in Munich now. But yeah, yesterday, what did we do yesterday? I met with my agency and I picked out a very cool look from Ghani. And I'm so excited to show you because it's very, I feel like it's very a little bit out of my comfort zone, but very cool. To Volkswagen, I'm to the Boo Store. Yeah, Boo Store is like, is it a concept store? Yeah, it is a concept yeah, store. Yeah, it's a concept store. They also have a cafe inside, yeah, and they it's have. Really popular. It's very popular. They have like very cool brands and also very 
good selection of books, jewelry and just bits and bobs. You can get some very cool presents there, I think. And then we just went to sing Blackbird, which is a quite popular vintage store, but to be honest, I feel like it's a little bit overrated. They had, they didn't, maybe it was because it was on the weekend, but they didn't have a very good selection in my opinion. So yeah, then we just went home, watched the summer, I turned pretty. Oh, and we went to Kitten Daily. And we went to Kitten Daily, I can definitely recommend that. Oh, <laughs> now we're going to Prenzlauer Berg and trying a new cafe. You've also never been there, right? No, but, but I always wanted to go and I think they just opened a few weeks ago. So. It's called Cafe Odor. We're currently at a cafe called Odor. We told you about it and we walked past a flea market. And it was actually just one woman selling her stuff and I felt so so many crazy items were so cheap the first thing are these bermudas and I've been wanting to try the bermuda trend for a while they're mio mio guess what I paid for them five euros so crazy and I really like this detail super sweet and then I got, bought this blouse okay it's inside out but it's also for five euros it's very cute on and then I bought this skirt from the... I didn't know the brand. Did you know the brand? No. This Coyote de Paris. It's very sweet. I love it so much. It's like boxers, men's boxers. I think it's very cool. And then the last item is this skirt. And everything fits perfectly, which is crazy. Oh, they took the skirt in, I think. Ah. Okay, they made it but like, smaller. But it still fits. Yeah, it's, it, yeah. They tailored the skirt and it still fits. I found this Isabelle Marant Etoile skirt for 30 euros and it also fits perfectly. It's very cool and chic. And yeah, everything was so cheap. This skirt was also 10 euros and the blouse five. I'm so happy. It was very a very lucky day for me. And Stella also bought something. I also bought something. Should I? Yeah. I got a Mio Mio bag for 50 euros. So, lucky girls. Totally, and now we're waiting for our latte. It's a, it's called um, Goma Latte. Yes. It's with black sesame, espresso, and something else. Cream? Mm -hmm. I think it's And cream. iced. I'm excited. Our Goma Latte. It looks so yum. Taste test! like normal coffee <laughs> <laughs> but it looks like ice cream like an affogato a bit yeah it looks super delicious also i took oat milk and with the normal cream yes <laughs> make it make sense <laughs> Finally warm again. Your fruits. Or you can also do like a little swirl of passion mm. fruit. You know that there are like huge yes. packages in Paris they sell like huge packages of the inside like the passion fruit seeds. Okay. I never got them because they're crazy expensive. They're like 20 euros. But Where can you get them? In Grande Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I can just imagine myself like the way you do it with iced coffee, you, at, at first you put the caramel drizzle, I put the passion oh, fruit drizzle, then I put my thick coconut yogurt, then I put a layer of acai bowl, whatever, and then another layer of <laughs> another layer of chia pudding. Now the last thing is the cherry. Oh, no, I, I would I would put a cherry on top and would name it cherry on top. Oh my god! And you you could do the coconut whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Like oh my the god. sodas, like the milkshakes in a diner. Yeah. And it would look like, oh my god, that's so cool. Yeah. 
cherry on top. I tell you, we went out yesterday, kind of. We went to Bellboy Bar. It's a very popular bar. We, they have like very fun drinks, but I can show you. For example, I had a drink out of a bathtub. I'm going to show you. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe.